In China, the largest military bionic robot yak has been created. It is intended to be used as a courier for delivering ammunition and supplies, as well as for reconnaissance missions. The Chinese-engineered mechanical yak is enormous, powerful, intelligent, and fast. The state-owned China Central Television presented this robot to the public. While its robotic counterpart is less than half its size, it can carry up to 160 kilograms of cargo and achieve a speed of 10 kilometers per hour. This model is originally designed for military tasks, capable of navigating through any terrain, including snow, deserts, and rocky terrain. The robot can jump, run, move diagonally, and make turns. In addition to advanced sensors, it is equipped with 12 sets of modules that allow the machine to perceive the surrounding world. The bionic robot can gather tactical information on the battlefield and be utilized for logistical tasks. The Yak robot is expected to become a strategic tool for conducting operations in the most challenging and inaccessible areas and under any weather conditions, including deployment in border territories. In late October 2022 in China, a robotized dog with a machine gun was unveiled, which can be transported via a drone. In the video, a robotic dog is dropped from a drone onto the roof of a building. After the UAV departs, the robot dog, equipped with a mounted machine gun on its back, stands up and begins to survey the landing area for potential threats. Such drones can be used for attacking vulnerable enemy positions in the rear or for occupying rooftops, enabling a three-dimensional assault. The weapon employed by the robot dog is the lightweight Chinese machine gun QBB-97. The QBB-97 is capable of firing up to 650 rounds per minute at an effective range of up to 400 meters. The weapon is designed in a bullpup configuration and uses the new Chinese 5.8mm intermediate cartridge in its base version. Combat robots encompass not only anthropomorphic devices that partially or fully replace humans, but also those operating in the air and water environments. As of October 2022, the majority of combat robots are telepresence devices, with very few models having the capability to perform some tasks autonomously without operator intervention. The new combat robots of the Chinese army are adapted to various terrains and can substitute soldiers in particularly hazardous missions. An increasing number of warrior robots are being incorporated into the arsenal of the Chinese armed forces. Another video released by Kestrel Defense Bloodwing showcases the assault of a building by a robot dog equipped with the same lightweight Chinese machine gun, the QBB-97. Similar to the previous video, the dog is deployed from a drone. The video demonstrates how theoretically effective robot dogs can be in storming enemy buildings. The use of robo-dogs would make attacks or detentions unpredictable, as they could approach from the rear or already be waiting for the enemy on the roof of a captured building. In the footage, a soldier is seen attaching a relatively large control panel with a screen to the wall, while another deploys a small spherical reconnaissance robot. Controlled by an operator, the device can move through rooms and transmit video feed, allowing military personnel to formulate a building plan and prepare for the assault. The combination of such technologies along with robot dogs poses a significant threat to the enemy, making it almost impossible to emerge victorious. These technologies are becoming increasingly autonomous, raising concerns among military analysts and personnel from other countries. If robots become highly autonomous, they could provide a significant advantage on the battlefield. Autonomous weapon systems are extremely dangerous as the military that owns them could deploy them deep into enemy territory, rendering no areas truly inaccessible, thereby posing significant risks not only to soldiers, but also to the civilian population. The EOD robot is a specialized device designed to support operations related to diffusing explosive devices. This high-tech device is equipped with advanced technologies such as cameras, sensors, and explosive detection systems, enabling it to safely detect, locate, and neutralize explosive devices. The robot is actively used by the Chinese military, enhancing the safety of military personnel during operations involving the handling of explosive materials. An important asset in China's arsenal, this robot significantly reduces the risks associated with military operations, providing reliable protection for both military personnel and civilians. As a testament to its significance, the robot remains an indispensable tool in the Chinese military's strategic assets, underscoring its commitment to minimizing potential risks and saving lives during complex operations. These robots can be quickly deployed from bomb disposal vehicles and can provide operators with a first-person view of the mission via real-time video feeds relayed back to the EOD vehicle. In early November 2022, at an aviation and aerospace development exhibition in China, a Chinese manufacturer unveiled a robotic combat dog equipped with an automatic gun on its back. 
Mounting an automatic gun on a Chinese robot poses a serious technical challenge due to the weight of the weapon and the recoil effect during firing. However, the People's Liberation Army of China continues to show significant interest in using this type of military technology with heavier weaponry, capable of performing combat tasks through remote control or in fully autonomous mode. According to the Chinese news outlet Xinhua, China's military robot industry is notably benefiting from the current global tensions, considering China's leadership goals to complete the technical modernization of the armed forces by 2035, transforming them into a technologically advanced army. The Chinese defense industry is entering a new period of rapid development. It is claimed that the robot carries a 14-kilogram gun and is controlled through an application on a military tablet. Additionally, it features built-in cameras with a 360 degrees field of view. This robot is designed to carry out tasks either in fully autonomous mode or through remote control. However, detailed technical specifications of the development are not disclosed. China is developing its first mass-produced humanoid robot with artificial intelligence, intended for military applications. Fourier Intelligence, a Chinese company, unveiled the humanoid robot GR1 at the World Artificial Intelligence Conference in Shanghai in late July of last year. The company plans to commence mass production of the robot in 2024 and release thousands of units into the market, including for military applications. The humanoid robot GR1 can move on two legs at a speed of 5 km per hour and carry a payload of up to 50 kg. Development work on the robot started in 2019, and by 2022, the developers successfully enabled the robot to stand on two legs and walk. Fourier Intelligence's humanoid robots can be used not only for military purposes, but also for caring for the elderly, educational purposes, and hospitality. Experts interviewed by SCMP noted that companies developing humanoid robots face challenges in consumer market implementation. Such robots are mainly used in laboratories and can cost millions of yuan. At the IDEF exhibition, the Chinese company Xi'an showcased its helicopter-type drone bomber Blowfish A2 and its new development, the helicopter-type strike UAV Blowfish A3. The drone can be equipped with air-to-ground missiles with radar guidance or precision-guided bombs with laser guidance weighing 6 kilograms, along with machine gun weaponry. This electrically-powered drone operates silently, making it ideal for reconnaissance missions and stealthy approaches to the enemy beyond radar detection. Blowfish A2 can be launched with a single button press and is fully capable of autonomously executing complex combat tasks, including fixed-range reconnaissance, precision strikes, and more. Xi'an is also developing a new unmanned helicopter, the Blowfish A3, with a length of 2 meters and a width of 0.5 meters. The Blowfish A3 drone can be armed with a machine gun or a 40 millimeter grenade launcher. The detachable tail structure of the helicopter UAV makes transportation and storage highly convenient. It can take off and land in a small area, making it perfect for operations in confined spaces, such as ship decks. With a payload capacity of 15 kilograms, it is designed for various payloads. It can be equipped with an artificial vision module for automatic target detection and trajectory planning. Write in the comments which of the robots shown in this video impressed you the most. Subscribe to the Caro Show channel to stay tuned for our upcoming videos and check out our previous episodes. Goodbye.